Hi. Now, in this example, I want to follow on with an idea that we were talking about in the previous example about where a line and a curve intersect, how they intersect. In this example, what we've got here is find the value of k for which the line y equals x plus k is a tangent to the curve y equals x squared minus 4x plus 5. And to get an appreciation of this kind of question, again, I would suggest you try and sketch this. So if we were to look at our curve, the quadratic curve, y equals x squared minus 4x plus 5, what we've got is a curve that crosses the y-axis when x is naught, that will make y equal to 5. So we just mark that in there as 5. Now we've got our line y equals x plus k, but we don't know what this constant k is. Any line of the form y equals x plus a constant is going to have a gradient here of 1, positive gradient 1, so it's going to be a line sloping up something like this. Let's just draw a general line in. There you go, y equals x plus k. Now, clearly you can see that this line is crossing the curve at 2 points of intersection. Now, if it were a tangent, then this would happen. Our line, instead of being there, would be somewhere down here. Now, that would mean that at this point, there would be just one point of intersection, or it just touches. There will be one root to our equation. Unlike this one, two roots, or down here, no roots. So for a line to be a tangent to the curve here, then this just got to be one root in our solution. And our solution is going to be the solution to a quadratic equation, as we saw in the previous example. So what we're going to be looking at is using the discriminant of the quadratic equation. Anyway, let's get on with this now, and we'll just work towards that. So if I was looking at something like this, I would say that at the point of intersection, okay, again, give a subtitle, making it hopefully easier for the reader to follow what you're doing. What we've got is that x squared minus 4x plus 5 must equal the x plus k. Alright, the y coordinates will be exactly the same at this point for some value of x. Now, we've got a quadratic equation because of the x squared, so we need to rearrange it, make it equal 0. So if we subtract x from both sides and subtract k from both sides, we're going to get x squared minus 4x minus another x is going to be minus 5x. And then we've got the 5 minus the k, plus 5 minus k equals 0. Now when I'm doing any quadratic equation, I like to have my x squared term, then my x term, and then my constant on the end here equaling 0. But can you see that we've got two terms here which are constants? And I want to have this as one term. So in a case like this, what I would do is put a bracket round here. That's very straightforward because we've got a plus here. That's going to be plus 5 minus k. But remember, if you had a minus there, you've got to be careful over the signs so that uh, you get them to agree with the previous line above. OK, so I've got three terms here. Now, this is the good bit. This is the bit where if a line is to be a tangent, there's going to only be one root to this equation. So let's just put a little bit of info here. Okay, so we'll just say that since the line is a tangent, all right, there must be one root. There must be one root. One root, one solution, okay? So therefore, we know that the discriminant in the quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, the discriminant, that is b squared minus 4ac, must equal 0. And what is the b value? Well, b 
is the minus 5. So we've got minus 5, all squared, let's put a therefore in there, b squared, minus 4 times the a value, which is going to be the 1 here, times the c value, and the c value is going to be 5 minus k. And that has to equal 0. So what we've got here is therefore minus 5 squared, 25, then we've got minus 4 times the 5, which is minus 20, and then minus 4 times minus k is going to be plus 4k, and that equals 0. So if we just come down here, what we've got is 25 minus 20, which we know is 5, so we've got 5, plus 4k equals 0. So if we just subtract 5 from both sides, we get that 4k equals minus 5, and divide both sides by 4, and we get that k equals minus 5 quarters, or minus 1 and a quarter. I'm going to leave it as minus 5 quarters, though. Does that look right? Well, yes, it does, actually, because if k is minus 5 quarters, this line clearly is going to intersect the y-axis here down at minus 5 quarters. Might be worthwhile putting that on. Minus 5 over 4. All right? So, hopefully that gives you an idea then of how we can use the discriminant in our quadratic equation to determine the nature of the roots or use that fact to know that when it's a tangent we're just going to get one root. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this particular example.